Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I buy some things, so they put it the bottom line. Two, not even the same food, now put it the bottom line. Boom, one more time, yeah, tap down, so don't go, don't get it, you're a sick, 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 a Autumn's here, it's the perfect time for reading, so I've been reading lots of books. Whoa, that's unusual. I know it's good for me because I'm getting all this knowledge, but it's starting to get expensive. You don't have to buy them, just go to the library and check them out. I bet they've got a lot of stuff you'd like. No, library wouldn't really carry that big a selection of manga. <sighs> reading books, huh? Reading books. I just can't concentrate. Well, everyone needs to take a breather now and then. Pochitona. A little gaming should help me relax. Oh, Miss Kuro is online. How's it going? Stop messing around and start studying. Cause you know I'll yell at you if your scores suck. Curses! They got me surrounded! Please teach, have mercy! Playing my game's no fun when reality comes a knockin'. Sigh. Quick question, ma'am. When you were in school and had to study for a test, what'd you do when you got bored? When I couldn't concentrate, I went and goofed off or I slept. Nothing special. <laughs> That's what I do. But I'm your teacher, so I've got to be hard on you. I get where she's coming from, but it still blows! If I want to do good at school, I have to set some goals and work my way up. So could you teach me all the stuff I don't understand? Sure, we can study together. So for this one, the value of x is going to be equal to... What? Nothing. I looked at the clock and realized my show just started. Tonight's episode is when this magazine writes an article about the main character and then everybody finds out that she's pregnant. I see. Are you gonna watch it then? Mm. It's okay, I'm recording it. Sleepy when there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. Guess you've been sleepy the whole time then. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't overdo it right off the bat like this. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Okay, but it looks like your ambition needs to do some catching up with your goals. Mm, I still can't concentrate. All right. Oh, you say you'd like some tips for studying? Yep. I was sort of wondering if you had any advice for me. Let me see. You tend to burn yourself out if you concentrate too hard on something. I find that when studying, if I stick to my usual habits, I'll be fine. I'm feeling confident about that test today. It's like I've been enlightened or something. But your usual habits consist of you not doing anything, so what's the big deal? Oh, you mean even if it's really, really cute? Yep, and you gotta watch out for their claws because they're poisonous. Why? I didn't realize they could be so utterly frightening. Howdy, guys! Huh? Hey, Kagami, how'd you do on the test? Yeah, I didn't do so hot this time, but my grade was still in the top percent. Even you have rough patches, don't you? You know, this time she helped me study for my test. And I got a really good score, too, better than usual. So how did you do on it? 
Even though I was pretty confident I didn't do so good, it's kind of a mystery. No mystery there. Inevitable's a more accurate description. Anyway, I was thinking about how we're sort of like birds of a feather flocking together. Hmm? Think about it. For one thing, both you and Miyuki-san are class representatives, aren't you? Yeah. And then you and me both like to play video games, right? Yeah, but we don't play the same genres. You like dating sims and RPGs, and I like to play shooting games. I used to think Tsukasa and me were the same, but after this test, I can see the difference. She's not as dumb. <gasps> well, I'm not gonna worry too much about blowing the test this time. You should definitely worry. Just because no one did well doesn't mean it's okay to slack. You'll get left behind. Hmm. Actually, this time around, me and Dad didn't bet on anything anyway, so I've got nothing to be upset about. I seriously doubt you're ever gonna amount to anything. If you're gonna look to Miyuki for studying tips, try taking more notes, and not just when exams hit. I think Miyuki-san is very sensible. She's definitely a type A person. <laughs> you know, I hear that from a lot of people, but in reality, my blood type is O. Really? O? You don't look it. Well, actually... According to this book on blood types and personality traits, I have many of the characteristics of a person with type O blood. I'll find an example. Here, it states the type O people are childish and naive. That description fits me perfectly, don't you think? Type O people also tend to be pushy, stingy, and greedy. Huh, I didn't know you had a dark side, Miyuki-san. Aren't you a type A person? Yeah, although a lot of people mistake me for a type B person. Huh? The type A person is sensible and considerate to others, and they also create peaceful relationships. Are you sure about this? I'm a really caring and sensitive person, don't you know? Only about the things you're interested in. I'm gentle and kind and love everyone. Only when you need to copy homework. Mm. Okay, then, what's your blood type? Who, me? I'm a type B. Blood type B, someone who's rude, contrary, moody, thoughtless, <laughs> disjointed, and slacking. Got a problem with it? Then Tsukasa's a type AB. Huh? Why do you say that? Yeah, why? Just thinking out loud. See, if you go by your personalities, Tsukasa looks like a type A and Kagami looks like a type B. Nice theory, although we're both type B. And we're sort of twins, so there's that. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. And while we're on it, you're a bigger slacker than I am. There are several ways of predicting personality types, such as using animals or even sushi. Sushi? Here's what Miyuki-san is. Ooh, Miyuki's Ikura, huh? Even her sushi's classy. Goody, I just love Ikura. So how about me and Tsukasa? Hmm. <gasps> cucumber roll. A cucumber roll? Well, I guess it is considered to be sushi. This thing is pretty accurate. What does that thing say about you? I wonder. Ginger. <laughs> You're ginger? <laughs> Don't be dissing the ginger! She's right. Ginger is an essential component to any sushi meal. Besides, her outlook seems to be a favorable one. Yeah, Miyuki's right. Cucumber rolls are more like sushi than ginger. <clears throat> oh! Hey, Konata. So, about that blood type stuff we were talking about today? Well, fraternal twins can have different blood types. I didn't want you to think that you were wrong when you weren't, but I just wanted to let you know you were right about it, so, uh... Well, thanks for being so honest. That's pretty cool of you. I guess there's type A in you after all. Oh, check it out. The other day, I saw him do one of those psychic readings on TV. Uh, yeah, you know, with that kind of stuff, the guesses hit the mark sometimes, but sometimes they're way off, too. It's all part of the show. Statistically speaking, if you make enough guesses, you're bound to get a few of them right. Kagami, do you realize that if you keep saying stuff like that, your life is gonna be the most boring ever? Can't you act more like a teenager? Wow, you did pretty good this time, Tsukasa. <laughs> Ooh, Kagami, this time you didn't do as good as you usually do. Hmm. Even so, Kagami still got a better score. Hmm. Well, girls, I know you both worked hard. The two of you studied and did your best, and I have to say I'm really proud. Now, Whoa, uh, you did pretty good, Tsukasa. <laughs> but Kagami did better. No surprise there. Come on, Matsuri, <laughs> can't you be a little more considerate? Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Uh, good morning. Girls, how are you? The two of you are such fine young ladies. I really do envy you. You know that. Oh, no. Not at all. You're both a Rio high, right? I hear your grades are so stellar. <laughs> oh, if only I could get my child to be half as smart it as It feels you. like so I'm so getting happy. compliments because oh, I'm her so sister. Well, thank you. Does that even count? I don't know. Lucky, Lucky star. star. Uh, ah, 
since we're done with exams, how about we go out and have some fun? Yeah, good call. You guys want to go see a movie or something? Is there anything good playing right now? There is, and I hear it's awesome. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, we're talking premium entertainment. It's a hybrid splatter film slash psycho suspense thriller. <laughs> Whoa, sounds good. Let's go for it. <laughs> we should go home and change, then meet up later. Sounds like a plan. Let's get it on. Splatter. I'm not having fun. I'm really not having fun. We still have a couple of minutes. Uh, as usual, she's late again. We're gonna miss the movie. Oh, darn it. For once, I'd like to see Konata show up before we do, you know? Jeez Louise, the thing's gonna start in a minute. <laughs> Whoa! When'd you get here? I didn't know it was you until I saw that. <clears throat> Glad you could make it. Now let's get inside before it starts. Oh, wait a sec. I need a favor. Can you guys let me pose as your sister? Why? What's the deal? Well, I'm gonna get a children's ticket, but I don't want to get hassled going in. Lousy brat. She's always going off about her height, but she totally exploits it whenever she can. So oh, it's scary, <laughs> Tuckabee. Oh, man, you're so cute. I could use some food right now. I heard that. Aren't you hungry after all that screaming, Tsukasa? Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat? Hey, how about we hit up a cake buffet? That sounds good. <laughs> a buffet. The sanctuary for all that a woman desires. They sure have a lot of different cakes and drinks here. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can try one of everything. Piece of cake for you, Kagamine. First things first, there's a one hour time limit for each table. You can find our selection of drinks over in the drink corner. And you'll find our various cakes in the showcases over there. So feel free to take what you want. Okay. Well. Oh. By the way, if you can't finish and have an excessive amount of leftovers, you'll have to pay a separate fee for what you leave behind. I just wanted to give you ladies a heads up. Okay. Very good. Please enjoy yourselves. An excessive amount of leftovers? Yeah, that's just for people who take way more than they're gonna eat. Let's go, I'm starving. That's a lot of cake. You gonna be able to finish it? Speak for yourself, Kagamine. When it comes to cake, this is a perfectly normal amount for me to have, thank you. Let's eat some cake! Uh, uh, and that one. And that one! <laughs> okay, this is starting to hurt now. We kept filling up our plates, and now we can't finish. Oh, I think I'm ready to mm -hmm. pop. <laughs> but the lady said we'd be charged for the leftovers. Yeah, we have to finish them. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's too painful. <laughs> uh, our time's almost up. Whoa, Kagamine, you're pounding two pieces at once! Of course, I don't want to waste it! <gasps> don't do it! Huh? If you start drinking water now, you're never going to finish what's left on your plate! You gotta focus on shoving down as much cake as you can! Pack it in, and when you're done, then you can wash it down with some water! Oh. Don't just sit there! Pick up your fork and suck down some more cake! But I can't eat anymore! You've got room for some pudding or Bavarian cream! Go on! <laughs> No, it's all you. Have fun. I'm gonna hurl if I take another bite. Come on. No way. I've retired from eating. The pudding's gooey. You can slurp it. Wow. Come on, hurry up! No. I'm not having fun. I'm really not having fun. Now that our exams are over, I've been doing some serious game playing. No wonder I'm so tired. If you were only that hardcore about studying, your test scores would be better. These days, the dating sims I've been playing have a ton of save points. Thing is, I can't find a good place to stop. I like to finish those things in one sitting. Something's bugging me here. If high schoolers aren't allowed to buy games like that, how the heck do you buy them? Hmm? I don't buy that stuff. Dad buys it. Whoa! Your family has got to be the weirdest family ever! I can't believe you'll make your dad go out and buy that stuff for you. <laughs> That's why I'm all sleepy today. I bet you're not that into gaming, are you, Miyuki-san? Oh, well, we don't have any game consoles, but there is a computer. I do play a little on that. Yeah? That's news to me. What kind of games do you like to play? Things like Minesweeper and Solitaire. I think those games are exciting. Oh, Miyuki-san. Sure, they're called games, but they're not really games. I know what you mean. I like 
like when you're playing simple games like those, you get totally sucked in. Yuki-chan, what's your highest score so far? On Solitaire, I usually score over 10,000. It's all about luck with that game. And then in Minesweeper, I cleared Expert Mode in under 100 seconds. Oh, oh she's the type who plays that stuff all the time. There sure was a lot of stuff happening in sports this year. Yes, for starters, that figure skater won the gold medal at the Winter Olympics. And then there was that high school baseball tournament. Wasn't it amazing how they had to go into extra innings? Mm hmm And how about Prince Handkerchief? If you're talking baseball, there's also that player who left for America. Hey, is this year's Japan series already over? Yeah, for a while. Ah, no way, were there any sales? Relax, the series was between the you-know-whos and that other team. Neither of them owns department stores or supermarkets or anything like that. Hmm. There was a commemorative sale, though. Uh, oh, I bet it was a sale on Ham or something like that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it was Ham. I just gotta make sure that next year I don't miss the sales. Well, knowing you, I bet you're just gonna load up on candy and stuff. No way. I need to pick up stuff like sugar, salt, soy sauce, and all your basic householdy things. Huh? Oh, that's right, Kagami. You wouldn't know about any of that, would you? I suck at chores! I got it! Ha ha ha! Eye drops, huh? You need any help with that? Thank you. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, lie back and look up. Oh, okay. Hi. Now just relax. <laughs> Yes. Here it comes. <laughs> Come on, relax, okay? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not doing this on purpose, really. It's just that <laughs> your face is scary. I've always had a problem mm -hmm. with giveaways and stuff because it takes forever to get the thing you sent away for. True. However, I found a way to milk twice the enjoyment out of every giveaway I participate in. How? It's always fun in the beginning, kind of like a festival, but then nothing happens and you start to forget about it and then it shows up and you're happy again. One entry and twice the fun. <laughs> I guess if you really like something, you can find the fun in it. But I still hate the waiting around for it part. Lucky Star. Already on our ninth episode, time sure flies. And sitting over here, we have a certain someone who our producer Ito's gonna say, Yo, Shiraishi, can you come here a second too? Why? What'd I do? Oh, I'm Minoru Shiraishi, given 100% of all I got is Akira Sama's assistant. It's a pleasure to see you again. Well, today we're gonna introduce another character from the uh, show, Tsukasa Hiragi. It? It's under the thing with the. You sound like a nerdy it? turtle. Finally. Hiragi! Uh, I'm sorry. Finally, things are picking up around here. Yes, we're strapping on our loincloths and getting down to business. Right, Akira-sama? Loincloths, huh? Yeah, since I'm an idol and everything, stuff like that's a little, you know. Just keep it in mind is all, yeah? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, how about we give ourselves wedgies with those loincloths? So I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and give you a piece of advice? You're out on a limb? If all you got as a comedian is toilet humor, you're done. I didn't know I was a comedian. And using other people's material is a no-no. You do that a lot. Cool it. Okay. Okay! What are we talking about? Oh, we were introducing Tsukasa Hiragi. Oh, yeah! That's the one who looks like the chicken! Me, 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 Akari Kai! Me, no, run, run! Doesn't she? I can't believe you'd say that. What do you mean? I think she kind of looks like an idol from way back when, don't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. She does a little bit. Okay, I see it. She definitely has what it takes to become an idol. If I didn't know any better, I'd... I'd hire something! Tsukasa oh. so Hiragi's an idol? You didn't have to throw an ashtray at me. How long you been here, huh? Because it blows my mind that you still have no concept as to what a real idol is. Learn your friggin' job. I'm sorry. That girl's just a soothing character type. I mean, come on. With those droopy eyes and that sad look, hello. Uh, okay. Maybe she doesn't look happy. Whatever. That <laughs> hoochie's not, not what's important right now. I'm gonna teach you once and for all, right here and now, what an idol's all about. We'll start with the posing basics. Huh? You know, I'm doing this to help you out, so it would be freaking awesome if you could pay a little more attention while I'm flapping here. Yes, ma'am. Here's how to deal when you're ambushed by a bunch of cameras. Okay, go ahead, push the button. Droopy eyes and a sad look. You see, 
see what I'm talking about? And then there's these props, very essential. It's a good thing for an idol to keep a few of these handy. Where? There's times when you'll be walking down the street looking fabulous. You never know when someone's gonna whip out a camera and start shooting, so you gotta stay frosty. And make sure your choppers are sparkly white. Shinju. Theater. Your eyes should be big and round and don't even think about blinking. Key smiles can climb to this area only. Psycho. When posing, your expressions must be natural and organic. For example, if someone lines up a medium close-up of you like this, Akira is so surprised. It's like that. Right. Very natural. There's also a version of that pose for when you and some guy are caught leaving a hotel. Oh, no! It's time to say goodbye already! Now, don't you guys forget to keep sending in those cards and letters. We really, really want to know what you think of the show. And don't forget to let me know how much you love me, too. You can also shoot us an email or call into the radio show. Yes, we'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Bye! had a photo shoot, didn't we? That's right, we did. And? I wore this little pink cardigan. Ooh, you were so cute. Thank you. What's wrong? Mm, maybe not. Well, everyone said it was cute. But you were so into huh? it, weren't you? Yeah, I guess I was. Bet you were having fun. Well, I mean, looking up into the camera, the hands folded under the chin pose. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You're totally hooked. Totally, even the cross dress, totally hooked. Did you check the photos? No, I haven't. Well, the manager did. Yeah? She checked the photos. Okay. She said something about a couple of shots being problematic. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm sure they got a ton of shots of me where I'm really hot. Uh, sorry. That was a rookie move. Uh, let me make it up to you guys. She says as she enters another song. Give someone else a chance. Okay, here. You guys decide on something? I'm still looking. I'm looking too, but I'm afraid I don't know that many songs. No sweat. I'll just sing until you're ready. You think you could sing something else besides an anime song? You're in luck. It's not. Huh? I heard this before. What is it? It's Kion Kion. Me and my dad used to sing it all the time when I was a kid. So instead of an anime song, you picked an oldie. What? You're insulting Kion Kion by calling this an oldie! Look, Tsukasa, just pick an easy song. Like a children's song. Yeah, I'm looking in that section. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We still got lots of time. On the next episode of Lucky Star, Konata here. You know how in World 3-1 and Super Bleep Bleep Brothers, when you get to the stairs near the end of the level, well, there's that turtle over there, right? All you have to do is stomp on it and keep hitting your A button. If you do that, you can keep hopping and jumping and kicking that sucker and get pretty much infinite lives. Cool, right? But if you keep jumping on that turtle and go over 129 lives, you die. That's it. Game over. No more lives. What's up with that? Hello? Anyone else see a problem here? Infinite lives means you live forever. Anyway, I think it sucks. But then again, maybe that's the point. Maybe the guys in that building by Tofkuchi Station are trying to teach us a lesson about moderation. You think? Next time, desires. Look forward to it!